What's up, everybody? I'm Brian Williams, uh, Senior Game Designer 2K Sports, here showing off WWE 2K14, uh, and you're watching Connected Digital Worlds. Oh, this match couldn't come at a more apropos place or time than WrestleMania 20. Goldberg and Lesnar with Austin the referee. It's unbelievable. Goldberg showing no intimidation. Right, thank you for joining us. Thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what your role is? Yes, uh, my name is Brian Williams. I am one of the senior game designers uh, at 2K Sports, uh, and I'm here today for showing off WWE 2K14. So tell us a little bit about WWE 2K14. Uh, well, this year, uh, you know, the single player campaign of our games each and every year uh, is usually the most uh, hotly anticipated part of the game. Uh, in last year's game, for example, we covered the Attitude Era. And uh, in this year's game, in WWE 14, we are covering WrestleMania. Uh, which is the WWE's, for those that don't know, it's the biggest uh, event on the wrestling calendar for the WWE. It's our biggest pay-per-view. And we're not just covering a couple of WrestleManias, we're covering all the WrestleManias. Uh, starting at WrestleMania 1, you know, that we started in 1985, coming all the way down to WrestleMania 29. Uh, so it's a really exciting mode. Uh, players will be able to experience, you know, firsthand uh, a lot of the the, the high water marks that have occurred during this event from you know Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3 to uh, you know Undertaker defending his his vaunted you know WrestleMania streak uh, against uh, Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26 uh, it runs the gamut and in, in the mode the beauty of the mode it features a lot of you know classic legendary superstars uh, Hulk Hogan Ultimate Warrior uh, Randy Savage is leading all the way up to the current crop of superstars such as Daniel Bryan Triple H of course uh, so it's a really, you know, great mode that encompasses not only, you know, uh, the, the, the grand, you know, uh, nature of this event, but it even kind of takes all the players from, from the, the genesis of the wrestling boom in the 80s all the way to the current crop of superstars that are on Raw and SmackDown currently. So what's your particular favorite superstar then out of that 30 year period? <laughs> I have, I have a lot. Now. Yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot. Um, Ah, say The Rock, you know, I, I love The Rock, I, but that's kind of too easy. He's on the cover and, and everything, so I'll, I'll say Undertaker. How about that? Okay. No disrespect, Rock, I love you too, but Undertaker is awesome. I'm a really big fan of his, and, uh, and he's featured in, in the mode quite a bit, uh, as well as he in, in his own separate mode of the streak uh, as well, which is another side area of the game. Uh, but yeah, The Undertaker, I'll say, is probably one of my favorites in the, in the mode. He's fun to play as. So talking of the, the WrestleMania mode, you've done quite a lot of work with um, outfits, the entrance attire. So um, tell us a little bit about that and how much of that is actually in the game. Uh, well, yeah, well, it's uh, two, two parts of that, actually. Uh, for the single player campaign for, you know, 30 years of WrestleMania mode, uh, because we're recreating these matches that actually took place, uh, you know, the onus was on us to honestly be as authentic as possible to each match. Uh, for example, uh, you know, Randy Savage versus Ric Flair at WrestleMania, I believe it was WrestleMania 8. I got a whole bunch of WrestleManias in my head. But, uh, but that match, for example, uh, we wanted to make sure that during his entrance that, you know, Savage was wearing his appropriate, the same, you know, entrance gear that he wore during the actual event, the same in-ring attire. Uh, those details are extremely important, not just to us, but really to the fans, because, you know, uh, they'll, they'll call us out if we make any kind of mistake. So, and honestly, you know, by taking on, you know, the WrestleManias and, you know, recreating these events as they actually occurred. I mean, we wouldn't be doing the, li the license and the brand justice if we didn't, you know, faithfully recreate not only the, uh, the beats of the match, but what these guys were wearing. So that's just as important as everything else is the, uh, the presentation, whether it be how the arenas look, the superstars, the, uh, the, the graphic overlays on the screen. Uh, you know, really harkening and taking the player back to that time period is very crucial to what we were trying to accomplish this year. And you've also got quite a lot of video elements within there, so yeah. have you pretty much got a video element for every single match and every single superstar? Uh, not every match. Uh, I will say roughly 70% of the matches that are in the 30th WrestleMania mode uh, will be accompanied by a, a pre-match kind of, kind of a promo hype material that kind of lets the player know, you know what set these two superstars, or three superstars in some cases, on the course to their WrestleMania match. And it's great, uh, because if you're a fan of wrestling like I am, uh, and, and you remember the match and why it took place, it's, you know, it's just cool to kind of see this, kind of bring you back to that moment 
Um, maybe you're, you know, a Laps fan and you got the game just because, you know, you're that Hulkamaniac. And you're not sure why, you know, Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels were wrestling at WrestleMania 24. Especially with Ric, with Ric Flair's career on the line, you can watch this, this video and it quickly puts you up to speed and, uh, and sets the tone for the match and lets you know why it's important and why it had to take place at the biggest show of the year, WrestleMania. And there's obviously a lot of commentary throughout the game, yeah. but you couldn't obviously use a lot of the original commentators for various reasons. Various, yeah. So um, tell us a bit about who's doing the commentary and why. Yeah, we've got uh, you know JR, who you know to a lot of people is the voice of the WWE. JR and the King, Jerry Lawler, handle commentary for all of the matches uh, in 30 years of WrestleMania mode. Because uh, as you alluded to, uh, through, I mean, because we're covering such an expansive period of time, uh, you know, some of the announcers, from, announcers or commentators from some of the earlier events are no longer with us, or in some cases, you know, for whatever reason, we just couldn't get them. So we kind of took an approach where we kind of, you know, said, look, you know, JR and the King, they've got great chemistry. Uh, they know these guys, they're, you know, their love of wrestling is, you know, it's infectious. So, you know, we, we had them record new commentary for each one of these matches. So, uh, you know, it's again, it sets a very kind of, uh, it sets the right tone for each one of these matches because, you know, you've got these guys who have been in the business for years, you know, between the two of them, you know, uh, you know, giving their take on these matches as you go through the mode. And of course, you know, what's WrestleMania without Howard Finkel? Uh, he does the ring announcements for all the matches at WrestleMania as well. It's, it's very authentic. It's very authentic. So you mentioned uh, the streak, uh, yes. the Undertaker. Do you want to tell us a little bit about those modes and uh, what they mean for the game? I would love to. I would love to. Uh, the streak is, you know, a it's a it's a sub you know game mode within the larger 30 years of WrestleMania mode, and uh, you know you really can't talk about WrestleMania without you know talking about Undertaker and his undefeated streak at the event. Uh, Undertaker is 21 and 0 in WrestleMania. Uh, and we wanted to, you know, represent that in the game and kind of pay homage to not only Undertaker's career, but this incredible streak that, you know, probably will never, ever be duplicated. Uh, so the streak uh, consists of two matches. Uh, we have Defeat the Streak and Defend the Streak. Defeat the Streak is the real meat of this mode. Uh, it, is, it is a single player uh, match where, you know, you pick any superstar on the roster or a custom character you've created and you go one-on-one -on -one against the dead man himself at WrestleMania. But uh, what really sets this match apart is that the match is presented as pretty much, it's almost similar to like a boss fight. Something you might encounter in like a, you know, a third person action game. Uh, the AI that we've created for Undertaker is completely separate from any other part of the game. I mean, he is incredibly tough to defeat in this mode. Uh, I mean, during my demonstration today, you know, I, I intentionally lost, but I lost. But you saw just how aggressive he can be. Uh, but what's really cool is that, you know, in this match type, uh, Undertaker will be able to perform some uh, special attacks and abilities to kind of help him stay in the match if he happens to get on the, on the receiving end of a beatdown. Further adding challenge to the match and the player's responsibility and their desire to try to get that one, two, three, or a submission victory. Uh, and at the end of the day, whether you win or you lose, you're given a, uh, a score based on how you performed in the match. And if you, you know, manage to actually defeat him, you can take that score and upload it online to kind of show the world that not only that you beat The Undertaker, but that you beat him with a higher score than the next man. So it's a great way to, you know, to brag to either your friends or just to the, the gaming population of ours that are playing WGK14 to say, I'm the best at this match. Try to, try, to, try to top my score. You just hope that he doesn't see it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So you mentioned custom characters. What new customizations are there in 14? Uh, yeah, you know, Credit Superstar is a huge part of our game each year. Uh, and one of the cool things we've added to Custom Superstar is the ability to select a actual WWE Superstar as a, you know, as a template for customization. And, and for example, what that means is that you can select an option in the game called WWE Superstar, where you can select, you know, Chris Jericho, Undertaker, Triple H, um, uh, you know, Roddy Piper, uh, and basically, you know, select them as a starting point for creating your character. CM Punk is another one you can, you can select. And by selecting that superstar, you can then start to customize them from the neck down. You can change the look of their physique, 
add, you know, tights, you know, all the, you know, accoutrement, the parts that you normally find in Custom Superstar to either create a new look for CM Punk, for example, or maybe you want to outfit him in an older pair of trunks that you might have wore years ago. Uh, so it's just a cool way to either, you know, update CM Punk to what he's currently wearing on programming or to create an older version of the character. Uh, and, that, and another cool thing is that once you're done creating this character, you can then choose to keep him as a standalone custom superstar or merge him with the default character and use him as an alt attire of the base CM Punk. So it's a really cool fun, you know, feature that we've added this year that I think our fans are really going to get a kick out of, especially those fans that just love to create either their own original superstars and now they get the ability to kind of take an actual superstar and make whatever kind of tweaks and modifications to them. So it's, it's really cool and exciting. Divas play a lot more of a, a part in 14 this year. Do you want to tell us the changes there? Uh, we've, yeah, the Divas are a huge part of the WWE, you know, uh, especially, you know, every year, you know, especially when the roster is announced. Fans are always apt to know, like, you know, what Divas are in the game, how many Divas. Uh, we do have a couple more Divas in the game this year than we did in the last year's game. Uh, you know, AJ, you know, of course, the reigning, you know, Divas champion is fully represented in the game this year. Um, Kaylin's in the game for the first time this year, so the Divas are, are, are factored in heavily, uh, even in universe mode uh, this year. One of the key improvements we made was allowing players to create their own show uh, populated completely by Divas if they so choose. Uh, it was one of the things that, you know, fans were kind of upset about in last year's game, that they couldn't, you know, kind of have Divas, you know, have, have their own show. So this year, you know, if you want to have a show called Total Divas, you could uh, put that on the calendar in universe and kind of have all the girls going at it, competing against either the, the Women's Championship, which we have in the game, as well as the Divas Championship. So Divas are, are a vital component of what we do each and every year. Um, and even in 30 years of WrestleMania mode, you know, we've got Miss Elizabeth. She accompanies her man, Randy Savage, uh, to the ring in quite a few WrestleManias. So, and, uh, and, and Lita with Edge and, uh, and his match against Mick Foley at WrestleMania 23. So the Divas, they're, they're, they're heavily involved and featured quite a bit in the game this year, much more than in the previous uh, version of the game. Right. And final question, for those who've either not played a WWE game before or aren't that familiar with WWE, what can you say to get them to be interested in and buy the game? I think um, for any, whether you're you know, a returning fan who, who enjoyed W13 uh, or a lapsed fan who kind of has an interest in the game now that they know that some of these legends that they grew up with are in the game, whether it be Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart. I think this is the perfect jumping on point for, for, for any you know, fan of wrestling, uh, because not only do we, we have the best of both worlds. We have you know, those, those, those returning legends uh, uh, in the game for the first time, as well as in the current crop of WWE superstars. So it really is that complete WWE experience, much more so than any other version of the game that we've released. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's WrestleMania. It is the granddaddy of them all. Uh, this is the single most enjoyable, you know, gameplay experience that we've done in the game since I've been a part of the team. And I say that with 100%, you know, honesty. And I've never played a single player campaign in our game that has been more enjoyable than 30 years of WrestleMania. It is incredibly fun and offers a ton of re replay value. Uh, not to mention the streak, you know, and uh, trying to defeat him is, uh, is a challenge in of itself. So. Whether, you know, you, you, if you saw the, the preview for this game, you got jazzed that Hogan's in the game, or, you know, you just love Daniel Bryan. You know, this is the game for you. Uh, the gameplay is on point. It's incredibly fun. It's deep. Uh, a ton of modes in the game this year that'll keep you busy for months on end. So definitely uh, step on into the ring. You won't be disappointed. WWE 2K14. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Hogan extending his hand. I don't know if you can trust him. I hate to say that. It's a fact, though. Well, I'll be damned, King. I'll be damned.